Alzheimer's disease is expected to triple in the next 30 years and is the sixth leading cause of death. The first step of prevention is all about hydrating your brain. Our brain is mostly water. The fat cells are made out of water, and so when we drink water, we do two things. One is we help the brain detoxify, and we also help bring nutrients into the brain. So water is really important. Southwick says being dehydrated only 1% makes your brain functions decline. We are what we eat, and a Mediterranean-style diet appears to be the healthiest choice for your brain. That's a lot of vegetables, a lot of good fats like olive oil, healthy fishes, wild-caught fishes, um, a lot of, or, or a reduction in sugar, a reduction in processed foods, a reduction in dairy products, so healthy lean meats, but lots of good fats, avocados as well. Doctors say the right supplements are also very important, especially B12 and vitamin D3. Almost 90% of Americans are deficient in D or the sunshine vitamin. <laughs> Plus, you may exercise for your body, but it's a huge advantage for your brain. There's a huge correlation between exercise and everything having to do with anti-aging. I'm very passionate about it. Minimum of three, 30 minutes three times a week of exercise, but not just exercise movement. So we talk a lot at the clinic about movement. Don't stay seated for more than 20 minutes. Your body starts to slow down. Systems start to uh, reduce. You're not, you're not moving your, your nutrients around. Your body start, your brain starts to become sluggish. Sleep not only makes you feel better, it's powerful for your brain. As we sleep, our brain cells shrink a little bit and the cerebral spinal fluid washes away the toxins that build up during the day. So if you don't get enough sleep and you don't get continual sleep, then you're not getting rid of the toxins and it builds up in the brain and they think that that can um, increase the amyloid plaque, which is what they measure to determine what's going on with Alzheimer's. Southwick says keeping toxins out of your body is another crucial step to avoiding Alzheimer's. Aluminum is one of them, so be careful about your underarm deodorant. That's a big cause of aluminum toxicity. You sweat out of those pores and your body can uh, reabsorb those and there's a connection that they're finding with uh, your brain health and aluminum. Uh, any of the pesticides, so pesticides are meant to destroy the nervous system typically of insects. Well, they also can destroy our nervous systems. So when you're eating the high pesticide sprayed foods and crops, then your body is more inclined to have a damaged nervous system as well as what you do for pest control in your house. Finally, it's important to find ways to relax to reduce your levels of stress. If you lead a balanced life, and I don't tell you all these things to scare you or cause more stress, it's just, you know, pick a few of them and they can make a dramatic difference. Remember what I said at the beginning, 75% of Alzheimer's is under our control. Our brain is not a solid.